Hey guys, welcome to Lingua Marina. Today we're gonna learn some phrasal verbs that relate to your daily life. If you forgot what a phrasal verb is, you basically take a verb that you know and then you add a preposition and it changes its meaning sometimes completely. So today we're gonna talk about those phrasal verbs that you can use to describe your daily life. If you're interested in learning those phrasal verbs, which are widely used by native speakers, continue watching this video. I'm gonna start with the easiest phrasal verb out there that you use all the time, wake up. Wake up, wake up! Every morning I wake up at 7.30 a.m., which is not true. Every morning I wake up at 8 a.m. first and then if a nanny comes in, I sleep in till 10 a.m. And sleep in is your second phrasal verb. Sleep in means you sleep longer. So normally I would wake up at 8 a.m., but if a nanny comes in or if it's Sunday, I sleep in till 10. Or you can also say, I like to sleep in on weekends because I get so tired during the week. I just need those additional two hours of sleep. Sleep again. To go off. We use this phrasal verb to talk about our alarm. My alarm did not go off this morning, so I did not wake up on time and I missed my flight. To go off. My alarm didn't go off. Then again, a phrasal verb that you probably know, but it's worth repeating, to get up. So wake up is when you open your eyes. Get up is when you get out of bed. I wake up at 8 a.m., but then I spend around an hour scrolling through my Instagram feed. So I only get up at nine, which is not really healthy because normally you would get up within 15 minutes after you wake up and brush your teeth and do exercises. But because these days we're so dependent on social media and so dependent on our devices, I wake up at eight and only get up at nine because I need to check everything. Get up. To perk up. You can use this verb when you describe someone who wasn't really in the mood before, but then he did something and he perked up. For example, I'm not a morning person. I need some coffee every morning to help me perk up because otherwise I'm sleepy and moody. Perk up. You need to perk up. To work out, probably know it, to do some physical exercise. Every morning I work out for 10 minutes, just basic stretching, yoga flow, to get myself into mood. I work out. To pick out means to choose something from a group. Depending on the weather, I would pick out some clothes that I'm gonna wear today. Did you pick it out yourself? On the contrary, when you take something off, you take it off. After a long work day, I take my heels off and I feel amazing. Take off the vest. To freshen up. Would you like to freshen up before breakfast? This would mean maybe take a quick shower, maybe just rinse your face, maybe put on some makeup, maybe change your clothes. Depends on what you understand by freshening up. Uh, sometimes you can say, you know, we're having dinner at six. It's 5 p.m. right now. Do you want to take like half an hour to freshen up? Yes, uh, that would be great. I will go take a 10 minute nap, take a shower and change. I'm gonna go freshen up. The train was disgusting. When you leave your house, you can say, I go out at 8.30 a.m. Go out. Or another phrasal verb that you can use in this situation is head out. And uh, I hear head out from a lot of Americans. I normally head out at around 9 a.m. every morning. So if you want to grab coffee together, 9 a.m. would be great. You head out tomorrow. Or another phrasal verb that a lot of Americans use is head to. I head to work at 9 a.m. every morning. So if you wanna grab coffee together, come to my place at 8.30 a.m. We can have coffee and then I will head to work. Had to do what I had to do. Then if you have kids, you would probably use drop off a lot. At 8.45, I drop off my kids at school. That means you're driving them to school, you're dropping them off, they're saying goodbye, they stay at school and you go to work. I drop you off. When you're at work, you go through your emails. Means you check them, you reply to them. Make sure you go through all those emails. Figure out is another phrasal verb that we use a lot when describing our daily life. I need to figure out whether this job is good for me. I need to figure out if I would be able to make it to dinner at 6 p.m. because we have a 5 p.m. meeting. Figure out. Let's figure this out. To come up with, you can come up with new plans. You can come up with an idea. That means you are creating it. Uh, we just came up with a new plan. 
Let's have dinner all together. I'll come up with something. To wrap up means to finish. I wrap up at work at 6 p.m. every day. It means you finish everything at 6 p.m. So to wrap this up, uh... in the evening you can meet up with your friends or you can catch up with them. That means you're meeting to grab beer, coffee, kombucha, whatever you drink, and uh, you chat over beer, over coffee. Can we meet up? Or in the evening you can stay home and say, in the evening I come home and I lie down in front of my TV. To reflect on means to consider something and think about something in a careful manner at the end of the day. For example, if you have a diary, you reflect on your day and write your thoughts in a diary. Reflect on the year that has gone by. To stay up means to go to bed later than usual. Yesterday I had to stay up till 11 p.m. because I had to finish this project and I'm really sleepy right now. Stay up late. And then when you're tired, when you're working on a project but you really want to go to sleep, you can doze off. I dozed off working on this project. That means you fell asleep on your desk to doze off. This is a very common phrasal verb. Don't doze off. By the way, guys, if you want to learn more phrases like that, if you want to brush up your grammar, my team and I have put together a workbook on grammar. It is called Grammar is All You Need. It has the most important topics in the English language. The link will be down below. Feel free to download it. It also have a workbook where you can go through exercises and memorize whatever you just learned. The link will be below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video up to the very end. If you're learning English and if you want to see my weekly classes, subscribe to this channel and uh, switch on the notification bell to not miss my next video. Thank you so much and I will see you in my next videos very soon. Bye-bye.